Um, many times, I ask myself, why do you do what you do? Maybe it's because I'm fanatically in love with Guyanese. Maybe I'm a madman. I don't know. Whatever you have choose, it's not for me to decide. Right? Let me track record speak for itself. Maybe I'm a madman. I don't know. Right? Today, after all I've done, I've earned the respect of most Guyanese, the scorn of many, nonetheless, scorn that lots of them can't explain, but nonetheless, Guyanese, every Guyanese know, every child, every woman know who the Guyanese critic is. Right? So, I must be doing something right. Now, again, there is no better feeling there is no better feeling than serving humanity. These things get me emotional because you know I don't I don't suppress my feelings. You know, like when I tell my sons, I got a partner, and he said, you know, he asked me, he said, how you just feel when you tell your sons that you love them, and just like when we cuss them out of anger that they haven't done things right, that they have shortcomings, just like that. When I'm overwhelmingly angry, overwhelmingly angry, and my pressure go up, real, it's just like that when I tell them I'm, I love them, I feel this overwhelming sense of warmth within, because I generally love them. You understand? You must be able to tell. You see, there's a problem with our society. You must be able to tell. Because what is it? This manly thing, like we are two lions, we are two wolf. We're human beings. Human beings are different from every other animal. Human beings, homo sapiens, are different. Right? You must be able to feel that love and that care. And you can't feel love, say you feel love, you get a sexual, you're sexually aroused. You can't feel love if you can't love human beings. If you love your mother, you understand? A man must be able to look comfortable at another man and, and feel love. You understand? It's not sexual. But we are suppressing those feelings. Me tell you my auntie, my love. And the problem is, too many fathers think it's an unmanly thing. Me every minute. Miguel now got he, he three un he two uncles. He father and his grandfather telling him, Miguel, we love you. You understand? Paul, them, Paul, Michael, and Sean had me telling them, I love you, son. And every time we, we, we finish talking, I would say, that loves you. If it's, you know, just a mild thing. If we're having a, a little rough discussion, all right, bop, 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 we don't talk. You understand? Know There's nothing wrong with feeling love. And some of us are so far gone. We're so withdrawn into hatred within that we can't even feel empathy. A little thing that everybody needs to have. You see, the aggression that men have with animals. No, no, no. You could see children. I, I, I wasn't brought up that way. We had a dog named Pablo. We used to bore the dog. Um, we used to, the dog, you know, them, them um, room door, room wall, that's there. You know them room while there's there. Um, yeah, the room while there's there like a little two inch half of the ground long time house is built, all right? So, you 
Yeah, so the dog used to lie down and the balls used to lie down. So I used to take a, 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 a pint of bowry balls. Me a little bit. Me, you know, not me, you are make trouble and stuff. So, um, the dog became very irritated and when he's, he's built up his anger and when he get the opportunity close to me because my stepfather was a man named Uncle Bort, right? He used to live with me. And he tell me that lion, them teeth, man used to use black pepper for throw dog out for the scent when they go in the teeth. So we never got two dog, me gone to see how this black pepper does work. Right? And me gone, it was Pablo and I forget what he, the female dog the name. So, them food used to, me used to eat the dog food. We used to pick the dog food, the dog food used to cook it chunks. And if you saw me mothers cook the dog food, we used to pick out the chunks from the dog food. Because the food used to be so well cooked. Right? So, me, um, for those of you who just tuned into the morning live of the Guyanese Critic, I'm just turned off a DSL turn from the back road, Mandela Avenue to onto the East Bank Main Road, and I'm heading up. Yeah. I tell him, he said, bore the dark balls. So Uncle Bort now, tell me how Thief Man has put black pepper in the dark nose um, and for throw the dark off a scent. Me go and put some black pepper in my hand and I pass next to Pablo. And I try to get the black pepper in his nose. You know, do a little sprinkle thing by the dark, they won't bite me. I was never angry. I was angry with my mother. My mother always used to pick up for the dark. It was irritating, you know. But not to say I was a worthless little brat. As you grow older, you gotta accept your mistakes. You gotta accept the mistakes that you made and where I was wrong, right? My mother was just always a loving person. A lot of times, her, her loves and belief and everything was misguided. As a matter of fact, she knows that. You understand? That's why we's always there up the road. You understand me? She always there up the road. But nonetheless, you don't get up. Here, me mother go till she ship it. Simple as that. She go till she's stupid. You understand? Me mother help people. Me don't help people. What can't help themselves or me see can't go to me. I'm not into that. I am not into that. I can't afford to give things that I worked hard for to anybody that doesn't know the worth for anything. I can't afford it. You understand? I will not be um, that person. So, that's out of the question, right? Me and I know, me know what I want to do. I, I, I come out here and I try my best. What you going on? I want to stand up early morning, going to work, he got to smoke a joint. He got to smoke a joint for clear he head. It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous, this society. So I'm telling you all about this, about my life and the mistakes that I made. Me and nothing else to talk about, brother. When you want to talk about, fuck, the first thing you got to talk about is yourself. So I'm tell you. So last night, the minister had um, doing this road walk, emergency works. You go up there and see what's going on, how the traffic is affected, right? The place fine. It needs better, in general, in Guyana, needs better road management. A lot of works are going forward with the intention of making things easier. But this is no new thing. If you go to London, if you go to Trinidad, if you go to Jamaica, right? In and out of the city and certain areas are like this. I went to Barbados. Certain places at certain times have long lines of traffic. If you go to New York, they are serious methods that continually um, continue to be implemented to alleviate this kind of traffic right traffic congestion in a developing world and a world that is developing in in guyana 10x normally a world is 
develop one x one x means in means one time of the the present um thing right now we we developing a 10x 10 times the, the the thing but when i said be careful what you wish for i'm referencing to my experience that i had last and then i wake up this morning to hear that the president went and spoke to the speedboat operators and came to amicable solution now speedboat operators are working back this morning and people still paying a hundred dollars now let me tell you what really get to me last night. So I went and Minister Deodat Indar, the minister within the Ministry of Public Works, was on the ground at Grove. Right? If you look at my video carefully, while I walked past him in the first instance, when I went straight down at the end, his wife was also there. Well dressed. Well dressed. It was Sunday evening, well dressed, one shot to a hundred for God, some way God in heaven knows we should be going, me know we should be going. But something come up and her husband decided her work was more important. Now, he sit down there. Yeah, minister, you can't, minister can't operate thing, right? We went, Michael, Sean went and mobilized equipment and get it done. You know what time I left? Let me tell you what time I left. What time I go in my bed? Now it's eight o'clock, right? So I went into my bed. Let me tell you what time I went into my bed. So I went into my bed um, 2.30 this morning. 2.30 this morning, I went into my bed after leaving Grove. You don't want to know the trials we went through. Just basically to get a roller. Right? Just basically to get a roller. Me had to wake up a man. The amount of people play rules in what's going on in this country and that's why you got to work genuinely from your heart to make this thing work so i'm on the ground there here was the next thing i haven't eaten anything since lunchtime um yesterday and i don't know if you guys know i'm on a bit of a high protein diet so steaks grilled chicken mostly grilled stuff no fried foods lots of salads um basically a keto diet but it's just i'm not just on the keto diet i'm also fasting 18 hours a day this is fixed no let me tell you if you can be of any help for you hey son you reach up grove yeah, daddy. you reach up grove you. you reach grove I, I just, I where you mean you come back at the yard the roller, take your listen to me. You gotta buy a plywood and put it. You saw the roller skate. Alright, good. Take your time. I come, daddy, come in for your hand, partner. Alright. You good. work on this together. Get your get out of the book, man. I can't leave it. Alright, son, safe. No. Paul, when I come back one day, Paul was sleeping in the car, pain, eating, knock out. And I looked at them and I thought this thing rough for them. But they gotta learn. They gotta learn. I'm so proud of them all yesterday. Sean gave me some problem. I had to dig some cost on he. I said, son, focus on what you're doing. You gotta focus on what you're doing. You know, since he mother left us. I don't know. Now, Sean is not the worst kid. The thing is, I'm a high achiever. You understand? I'm not easily pleased. I don't settle for less. I don't settle for less. 
than 110. And this is what I expect from everybody around me. So it's hard, it's difficult being my son. It's difficult even working for me. Because here, let me tell you, you know, me don't tell you. You understand? Me don't tell you. Um, oh, I want it done this way. Me could do them. Me could do them. Me would go myself and do them. Me a red bike, me a red jet ski. Me a drive any kind of vehicle. Me the operating um, drag line, you know them? 22 RB drag line. At the age of 18, we used to work with a man named Speedy. Right? So me expectations are very high. Me got a serious drive. Me hungry, crazy hungry all the time. You understand? Me watch what me want and me got get it at all cost. Me the key. Me and them, ah, if it's my sit back and you don't get it. Nobody has been able to emulate what I do. I stop covering every story. You all think story, accident stop? You all think crime stop in this country? It reduce. Me, when me been in my head day only a couple of years ago, me just cover every single God story. Bobby's Esquibo. Every accident. You fought me today. In time for before the, the smell dissolve. I sniff out your ass and tell you where the fart come from. You understand? Me bad like that. And today, me there. Me there behind the scene. Relax. Come out in the morning, do a live. Go and go walk. Nobody has been able to come and replicate that. There will only be one guy in each critic. There will never be another. I sit down and I watch and I sit down and think. And there we sit down. And some big heads are talking. Why well, you don't train people for do for tech follow up after you? And everybody watch one another. Big heads, you know what I'm Who? Who you could train? Who you could train that's going to do? Come for do the job. And people cussing them, people healing them up. And they just do the job. Then I get worked out and I end up in a cuss out. Because of the love, I just do my job. I ain't care what you say. They stand up on the road there. 80% love me. Some of them hate me. My auntie man, me got goody. They want to bugger me. Critic your bugger. Y'all yeah, doesn't hear them thing that. But I look at the bigger picture. I look at how I can serve a genuine purpose. You know the thing there? You know how much people call and complain? They got a banner. This call for me program. And he would say, critic, this thing upset me. Call, call. It upset me. I, I got drive attack by this thing one day. And imagine I have the capabilities to put in something and give a helping hand. And I don't. After all the complaints come to me, and I profess to be this person who loves Guyanese and want to help them. Me body friend came and he said, "Bye. You gotta make money. Everybody making money. Why you go help people? Why you go help? <laughs> what we gonna do when we drive on the road and know that we to play one rule? If the minister can dead, when we watch that, we say, wow." The ministers, did the minister left there this morning? Right? The minister left there this morning. Hold on for me. I hold on for me. Hey, my brother, morning. Talk to me. Yeah, same to you. Yeah, I'm going to update you where we're going and as soon as I'm done. Yeah, depends on something. When I'm done, I'm going to update you, don't worry. Safe, brother. Yeah. So, where was I? Yeah. You know, me dead on the book, what I tell you? No, it wasn't easy. All over. But I want to talk about how I'm motivated 
And I can tell you physically, I run, I run, partner, I run right now. Here, I'm gonna eat since yesterday, 12 o'clock. So I got a high protein diet. I'm gonna eat since yesterday, 12 o'clock. So me got a high protein diet. And And I'm supposed to drink a lot of my last time I get dehydrated. Pain may hit out all of But here now, the body is stressed. I know my muscles walk. I wake up 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock yesterday morning, and I went to sleep 2 o'clock. Now, bear in mind, me eat wrong 1 o'clock. I had a few eggs, some plantain, some chopped salad with... Um, with apple cider vinegar and that helps with the digestive process and um, some chicken breast grilled chicken right so, so let me show you my know me ugly face yeah watch yeah so What's up, listen? Critic, you know what critic I tell people? You know, you know what I talk about myself? Who's you? You're not important. If I talk about my mother, you're not important. The truth is the truth. I can't help it, but tell you how the truth. You ain't got no time for that. Like, yeah. So the ministers, I go down there. The ministers on the ground. The wife, they pan the ground. Right? He, wherever he been, he end up there. To make sure the job is done. We have to wake up a man. Now the resources across the country are stretching the gas If we wanted to do everything in a year in this country, it can't be done. We do not have the capacity. Right? So I'm telling you about the body, we can come back to that. I'm telling you about the body, because this is good for you, the diet right there. So I am stressed. My body is stressed. I'm feeling it physically. I'm feeling the wearage in my muscles, but like as I'm going, because my body no longer burns sugar. So me ain't got sugar. Me ain't got sugar. Me body a burn fat. I'm training my body to burn fat, not sugar. So no matter what, me not reach the stage of all my fat gone. Me got on reasonable belly still, right? Me got one like a little 15 pound of fat in my belly. So me body a bun pan. I mean, tell you, I am feeling tired. I can't move physically. Your muscles binding up. You understand? But I kept going last. I think I drive. Right? Go up. Thing where the these we, we wake up a man and, and then you gotta know what happens behind the scenes. Some people or the people who tend to talk, they got a simple life. So they just jump in a car, them go to work, them run them out, they listen to what PNC say, and we're gonna tell you just about the PNC failure and why they continue to fail. It's because of the thought process, the willingness to do anything. You understand? How they felt about people. You gotta respect people. And why I put up there, be careful what you wish for. Some politicians, even in this PPP government, don't know what it really takes. Right? Don't know what it really takes to make things work. Because I'm there with the minister. And I'm seeing what is going on. Depp on the ground trying to make this thing work. Right? And you never had ministers under the PNC because they thought that they were of this. They created a, a, a false sense of importance for themselves. Ministers in the PNC created a false sense of importance. People told me when the PNC wanted votes, they come like lappy dog. Right? They came like lappy dogs. And when they... Let me just try my little board thing and so here. But you got. Yeah. 
They come like a lapid dog and bake people for vote. And you know when the PNC went into power, you could not see a minister. They would tell you, even friends, that you have to. You have to um, talk to the secretary. You have to make an appointment. Imagine people who you know for years. You treating like that? This banner for real? Eh? You can't treat people so. Everybody you talk to, even people who are staunch PNC supporters, the president himself, no less than the president. The president in watch is West Demerar people. The president in watch is Indian and black people. The president, no less than the president himself, went, met the people, came to some resolve at the, the with the boat operators, and still the boat operators are working this morning. They won. They won. They cried and they won. The, 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 the president heard everybody cries. I've been an interview people that said they were willing to pay the $20 move. Watch how this traffic move in. Watch how this traffic move in. Right? This place is got a la la line of traffic. So that man do a little thingy. And the road is going to be maintained quickly at intervals to keep a, a free flow of traffic. And this is, this is uh, well, the rain come now, right? And, and, and messing up this thing here, so. I'll hit the goat and set up yesterday. Last. night this morning everybody was at the ground here everybody you had ministers you had engineers you had different contractors i'm gonna show you something you had a room